What's up everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Chess Doctor here with yet another banger and in today's video we will be playing again some rapid chess, okay? So currently I'm standing at a 1023 elo points. How far can I actually get in rapid? That is the question today. So let us begin. Let's find today's victim in 10 minute games and let's just see what's gonna happen because every day is different. Even if it feels like it's not, I keep on getting 900 elo all of the time. So chess.com really thinks I'm 900 elo, huh? So I, I have to step up my game or I just have to like filter out the higher rated opponents. I think I think I should do that. So Queen's Gambit declined. We don't care. We don't care. We're still here slaying. OK, it's move three. I mean, why should we worry about it? OK, so I think that my plan should be push E4. Definitely. Why is my mouse? not Hello. I can't draw the line. What What is happening? I can't draw the line. Okay, okay, doesn't matter. Today, no lines. Uh, but I honestly want to go with this. I'm going to play the Catalan, okay? Why? Because I just do not care. Oh, I can draw a line? Wait. A little bit. A little bit of lines are working. Not every single one, okay? So he declined my gambit. Why should I care, okay? Hmm, we can, uh, we can go like this and offer a trade. I usually go with the knight, but I really, I don't want to do it right now. I would rather do it like this, honestly, because this is looking like a cool structure, okay? The horses are holding together, and also the horse will be de uh, defending this uh, c4 pawn. So I think that we're actually chilling. Okay, so he wants to uh, go like this. Uh, oh my god, I can't draw arrows, but if I take he gonna like give me a check with the queen and then threaten to take this pawn uh, Which we do not want so we're just going to develop here and uh, We're going to make him take we are not going to take obviously why because we know what his plans are We don't want those plans. So we just do not care and now we can also castle up and Just relax. Okay, because I am ta taking the bishop see he gonna take it first and he gonna go according to my plans at the end of the day, which I mean, I'm satisfied about that. I, I like that. Okay. So I still can't push E4. Okay. I'm going to draw it like this. I still can't push E4. I mean, I can technically I can. If he takes here with the, uh, with the D pawn, I, I mean, what, what do I do? Nothing. I, <clears throat> I just look at the dude. Okay, so we ain't gonna do that. Maybe we should ask a question here. That looks like an important question to be asked. Okay, like at, let's just ask the queen. What is she doing here? Excuse moi. Okay, this is very. <laughs> Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Okay, this is a very short video, guys. So uh, let's at least review the game because <laughs> I mean, the review is uh, going to be literally like 90% accuracy, craziness. And it's just like the dude gave the queen, okay? Like one question was asked, one singular question was, as I said, 97.8% accuracy. One singular question was asked in this game and my opponent had zero answers. My opponent only had the wrong answer up his sleeve. We played the Catalan. Okay. I didn't care. See, not caring is the best move. I was just slaying this game as I told you. And now this is a good move and he completely gave the, uh, gave the queen. Okay. The estimate is... 1800 for me i mean no wonder the game was like 10 moves but they're estimating him 1150 even though the dude just gave the queen immediately so chess.com what's up with these estimates that's just crazy okay but i like this accuracy i'm gonna put this on the thumbnail uh, to attract people and then people are going to be like what and then they're just gonna see the dude gave the queen okay so let's play one more game i think we should because Oh, he, he wrote me something in the chat, but I wasn't looking. Okay, finally a 1000 elo opponent. So this is a fair fight, okay? So I'm gonna start a new game, even though it can last like long, uh, but we don't care. Okay, so this person is accepting my gambit. Mm -hmm. He do be letting me cook, sir. He do be letting me cook. He do be accepting my gambit, oh. Okay, we just take the pawn, okay? We're not going to stress about this. We're just going to take the pawn. 
and that's it. Because that's the whole idea of this, okay? Okay, he is uh, provoking me here. Uh, we can push here and then have a like a menacing bishop in the center. But is it very good to have a bishop in the center? Isn't it better to have a horse in the center? But like if I take my time to develop like this, huh? I honestly like this idea much more. I, I'm going to have the bishop in the center. Okay, I never... I, I don't know what's up with the bishops in the center. I never tried it, but... There is a first time for everything, people. Okay, first time for everything. So just try it out, you know. Have fun, experiment a little bit in this game of chess and you're just going to enjoy it much more. At least from my own perspective, okay? I like to try, try out bishops in the center or whatever. Like, something completely new and exciting. Oh, so now he wants to be like all saucy and menacing. Okay. Well, I don't care about training that bishop in the center. <laughs> I don't really much care. Uh, I can develop a knight here that is both defending this pawn and the bishop. So if he takes the, the bishop with the knight, we just stake with the knight. And then we have a knight in the center. So one piece is gonna be in the center. And when I was thinking before, knight in the center would maybe be better than the bishop here. Because the bishop here is... I, my right click is not working for some reason. So no arrows today. But I, I think you get the point. So here he is like... He's allowing me to take this pawn for completely free. Uh, which honestly I think I should take because I don't care. Oh, but then he wants to be like, oh, taking my e pawn, right? Well, why should I care about that? Because I can take with the king here. If he trades up queens, I can take with the king. Should I trade up queens now? Hmm, do we have any checks after that? No, sir. Okay, we have... I think we have a very interesting position. Okay, this is now pinned, so it's not working. Uh, but we can just push this. And I don't care if he trades the queens. I don't care about moving my king. Okay, that's my whole idea. But So I'm gonna move the pawn. Because I do not care if I have to... I do not care about that. I do not care about that, okay? You might think that I would care, but sir, I, I don't care about moving the king. The king is the king, in, you know? I don't care. Okay, so now he wants to, like, fork me here. And he's attacking the pawn. Again, no arrows, no right click, guys, no right click. I really need a new mouse. I really need a new mouse, okay? So, we can go here and, uh, you know, defend from that fork. Or we can just move the king again. And be all saucy, because I really, I actually enjoy it. Maybe even up. Yeah, let's go king up. Let's, let's king up. Let's go, you know. I, now I wanted to say a phrase that's maybe not the best. So I, I'm not. But we're going to be fearless. <laughs> we're going to be fearless, okay? So he took this up, okay? We don't care. We're gonna take with the pawn. The, my position is not looking the best. It's not looking the best. He's castled, I have a king in the center, uh, which he's probably going to try and bully. But we do not care. We're fearless, okay? Because we won the first game, so this is just an extra game. So now I'm just chilling, because I already won. I don't care, okay? I don't care. Uh, now he, we, we just develop here. Problem solved. <laughs> I'm just here telling you guys this is actually simple. If I lose the game, I don't care. It's still very simple. So now he do be attacking with one horse, second horse, and the rook. And I do be defending with only two pieces. So it's the right click is working only sometimes. So now we should push the pawn. Uh, but we can't, because if he takes, we can't take back. The pawn is pinned, so I think that we should actually say our farewell to the pawn. And just maybe move the king out of the pin. Yeah, let's do that. So let's go here. Uh, but still, I wouldn't like to get forked like that. But I don't want to go down. That's looking ridiculous. Okay, wait. I think I'm just going to go here and then manually castle here. Okay, because even if he takes with rook... I'm going to take the rook with the with the horse or whatever. So uh, the bishop is being L developed, and my king gonna be developed as well. Okay, my king gonna be developed. 
I'm gonna develop Elder Kingo and just be the queen, you know. We traded queens, that's why I don't like this game. I mean, I, I don't care if I have to move the king, I, I don't care about that. But I don't like the point of trading queens, like I wanna play with my queen, I don't wanna lose her, even if it's through a trade, you know, I still don't wanna, I still don't wanna lose the queen. So uh, here he is putting a rook on an op open file and I think that we should ask this a question because I don't really care about his business here. We are we have more important questions, okay? Because the last person when we ask them a question, they just they just give it so you never know. You never know, okay? We do be down on time because they talk a lot, okay? I really like to talk a lot. <laughs> Okay, so he moved the knight, and now my pawn is safe, honestly, because he moved the knight, okay? Uh, which is just ridiculous. Uh, but I would like to move my bishop somewhere, so that I can push this pawn. Uh, maybe, oh, we can't go with uh, rook to b1 because of this annoying bishop. We can try to expand like this, but isn't that a little bit tricky? Yeah, we don't care because we traded the queen, so I'm gonna expand. I'm gonna have the whole expansion. I'm gonna have my kingdom, sir, I don't care. I'm gonna do it all. I'm gonna do it all, okay, sir, I'm gonna do it all. Uh, so he do be attacking this. If we trade here, that's not good. So uh, should we just move here or like this? Yeah, let's go here, because we want to put our knight and our bishop and our everything closer to his king. As soon as possible, you know. So he can take this... Oh, he can't because of the knight. Okay, okay, see. Uh, now if we push the pawn, he takes with the pawn, we can actually take back with the knight, which is not too bad. Okay, not too bad. Or should we just go king up so that he can never take that pawn? Even if the knight moves. Yeah, I'm gonna do that first, then I'm gonna probably move the pawn, okay? Oh, this game is just wild and oh, so now he pushed the pawn, okay. Uh I think I'm just gonna move the knight, but where? Where should we should we sack we shouldn't sack it? We don't have any queens, okay? Cause like if I take here, he takes back and then I have to move the knight. Well, actually, I can do that. I can. Because I can go here and attack his rook. Oh. But now he really wants to trade this up. Fine. And I can still go and attack your rook. And also attack your pawn, which is going to be taken with a check. And I'm not sure how he can defend that pawn with this rook that is under an attack. So we're actually chilling. Kind of. Just down on time. So he also wants to take the pawn, yeah, but mine is with the check. And I would like to mate the dude. I would really like to mate the dude. Okay, I'm gonna trade this up. Because it's a check and he has to go there. So he has to, like, take the bishop with the king, okay? Oh, he can also do that. Okay, actually, maybe it's better. Maybe it's better that he took like that, okay? Because now we can go here. <laughs> it's actually better that he took the knight. Yeah, we can move away like this. Uh, but he can't ta take any of this. What am I saying? He can't take any of that. Because the bishop and the pawn are indestructible when, when working together, okay? So we can go here. For another check. Yeah, let's do that. And then we can push the pawn. Because we're up a pawn now. So it, And we are in an endgame. Oh, he's looking severely closed. If I go here, isn't that like literally GG? We won! We won! Let's go! 1037 ELO. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Look at this. I finally got to my favorite number. This was easy. This was easy. Everything was straightforward. They say five blunders. Let's quickly look at the game review because this is the quick analysis that is almost never correct. Like, they say I have five blunders, then it turns out my opponent has three and I have two. And that's together five, you know? So the accuracy is just amazing. Brilliant. I have three great moves. 
Okay, three grain moves. I have a lot of misses here. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. I, I went to this end game line, but I was not afraid of uh, kinging up. And I think that was good. Okay, this manual castling is a great move. I told you guys. And this is also great. Okay, of course. Okay. We didn't care because this and then this. Okay. We don't care. We don't care. We checkmated the dude. So we don't care. We don't care. Okay. Okay. And we won the game. So uh, 900 is the estimate and 750 for my opponent. Opening middle game and end game. All of that was good. Just good. Okay. So we played good chess today. Good chess. Okay, guys. So uh, that's it. This is we played two games actually today. The first one was way too easy. The second one was very straightforward. Uh, I mean, you see a lot of misses, a lot of like inaccuracies, but it wasn't blunders. It wasn't like stupid mistakes that makes you lose the game. I was holding my advantage pretty much the whole time, and I was I was always kind of winning, you know, which was good. We were never like so completely equal. Maybe at one point in the game, but. After that, I was just, I was maintaining the, the, the same value of the position. I wasn't going anywhere too far. And then I just ended up checkmating him like in three moves, which was ridiculous. Okay. So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching these games and I hope you uh, liked watching this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you already aren't. And make sure to leave some comments because I really, really enjoy reading them and they always just make me smile. Okay. So... Uh, I had fun. I loved crushing these people. I'm looking forward to playing more and more chess on this channel. And just in general, I feel like I'm getting better. And uh, Rapid is honestly helping me to get better. <laughs> not gonna lie, because I have more time to think and then I think about better ideas, okay? I'm not hurrying anywhere and I like that, okay? I like that about Rapid. So uh, guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for recommending me to play more Rapid. And uh, just enjoy your day, okay? Thank you. Uh, for supporting me and uh, that's it from your chess doctor guys check out the description and join the discord chat with us that's it guys have a wonderful day and keep on smiling bye bye